Okay, so let's get started on number two, um, the example that we did in class. Um, the first thing we're going to do is that we notice that there is a, a negative here and a negative here. So which means that we can actually reduce that to a positive and a positive. Okay, and then um, I'm going to look at look to see if we have any um, exponents that are zero. We don't. Okay, so let's start moving um, the negative exponents. Okay, so on top, okay, in the numerator, we have an m and an n that does not move. And then in the denominator, we have a 2 that's not going to move, but that m to the negative 2 that's going to move to the numerator become m to the second. And then we have an n to the second, m to the second, and an n to the second, and all of this to the third. Okay, now I'm going to simplify everything in the numerator. I see there's an m to the 1 and an m to the 2, so I'm going to add those exponents, so I have an m to the third, and the n just stays. So we have a 2 here, nothing else to multiply it with, but I have an m to the second. Um, there's no other common basis, but we have an n to the second, and an n to the second, so that is an n to the fourth. Okay? Now, since we've sim simplified the numerator and we've simplified the denominator, let's simplify everything in the numerator versus everything in the denominator. Okay, so first we have an m to the third and an m to the second, so we subtract 3 minus 2, that's um, 1. Uh, if it's a positive 1, it's going to stay on the top. Okay, let's go ahead and write the 2 there because that does not simplify with anything else. And then we have an n to the 1 and an n to the 4. Okay, so 1 plus 4 is negative 3. Negative 3, that means that that 3 n to the 3rd is going to go down to um, the denominator. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and erase this. Oh, that's not a very good... Yeah, I'm using a different software because the iPad that I was using seems to not um, allow me to do very accurate things. And I have to do very accurate things here. So now it's time to get rid of this 3. And how do I do it? I distribute it into everything inside of the parentheses. So I have m to the 3rd, 2 to the 3rd, and n to the 3 times 3, which is 9. So that gives me m to the third, 2 to the third is 8, and n to the ninth. And so that is my final answer. Good job.